Hi, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to continue our bow making tutorial series. It is going to be building off of videos one, two, three, and four. So we are on video five now. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to make mini bows. For those of you who like smaller bows, or you could also use them for um, American Girl dolls or like other dolls that uh, your kids have, obviously they can always be worn from baby to adult, as well as especially on uh, dogs as well if they have hair, like the cute little poof on top, it's super cute to put a little mini bow on top of there. I have lots of customers who do that. Or still dog collar bows, so lots of different options. We're going to be introducing a new ribbon length today, which is 5 8 inch, which is good size to make a mini bow. We're also going to use our trusty 7 8 inch ribbon. And what we're going to do is just cut smaller sizes of it compared to our normal medium size bow. If you've not watched videos one through four yet, they are all linked down below. Make sure you watch those because this series does build off of each video. And in order to know how to make the mini bow today, you will need to have watched at least video one and four of the videos prior uh, to really be able to follow along with what I'm doing today. Or if you already know what you're doing and this is just maybe an opportunity to hone your skills or learn a little bit something new or maybe uh, find a new trick out, then hey, this video is for you as well. Um, or even if you haven't watched the prior videos, you could totally still watch this video and learn how to do something. So um, just want to be able to share as much knowledge with all of you as possible, which is why I encourage you to watch all the other videos prior. If not though, you're still gonna learn something new today and you're still gonna continue your bow making learning skills, if you will. I'm not really sure what to call it, um, but as the maker, this is going to be up to you. So like I said, we're going to use 5 8 and 7 8 inch ribbon. Uh, I chose these two colors today to work with. It's a purple and gold and like a light pink and gold, which probably doesn't show up the best. Camera, let me try. I think they're really pretty uh, with gold. And then this is my 5 8 inch ribbon. And then this is the 7 8 seven eighths inch and they do have you know like reflective gold to it which is why it's shining like a diamond on the camera so you can see the size difference between the two and then for both you are going to need a coordinating three eighths inch ribbon so i went with a pretty gold again i don't know why maybe i'm in a gold theme normally i'm all about silver and don't touch gold but i'm really loving gold right now so this gold has let me do the, the hand in the background so it can focus. So it's a gold on the outside and then a gold glitter on the inside. And I used this in another video prior, but this gold does not shed, which is great for you as a maker. And it's great for kids because then you don't have to worry about anything coming off. So this is going to be for our alligator clips for both bows. And it's going to be for our centers for both bows. So I figure we might as well just kind of kill two birds with one stone. The other supplies today you'll need your handy dandy trusty lighter or whatever method you choose to fray check and remember fray check is important also whatever you choose for your clip for your bows i am using my old faithful alligator clips you need a hot glue gun and speaking of disasters my hot glue gun tried and true i mean there's just so much gunk on it i can't help it guys but this is my real hot glue gun i'm not using a fake glue gun or something i don't use every day for these videos scissors of your choice i have big and little up to you whichever one you want and then you're going to need some form of measuring device this is just seamstress tape i find this easiest for me because literally wad it up and just whatever with it uh because i am organized but not organized if that makes sense but anyways i'm gonna take my bracelets off as usual so they're not jangling around while i'm trying to do the tutorial i'll zoom in so we can get a closer look if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up at the end uh definitely leave me comments also or if you have a comment or a question while you're watching the video definitely pause it 
leave it below. I'm happy to help. We all start somewhere or if you have questions or if you have, you know, a good tip and trick that maybe you think I could try or you want to share with me, make sure to comment below. And then of course, as usual, make sure you're following Wonderland Boutique on Facebook and Instagram. It's just slash I love Wonderland Boutique for Facebook and it's at Wonderland underscore Boutique, B-O-W-T-I-Q-U-E on Instagram because I'll be letting you know about new videos, new products, I post giveaways when we have sales and it's a great way to join others in the maker community and also just get to know each other along the way. So let's get started with making some mini bows today. Okay, so what are mini bows is probably what you're asking. So when you're using the seven eight seven eighths inch ribbon, in our last video, we learned how to make a medium size bow using the seven eight ribbon and we cut that to six inches which is what this looks like what we're going to be doing is cutting that down to five or five and a half inches using the seven eighths inch ribbon so it's a bit smaller if you can let's see so you can see the difference in size between the two okay the other option is with the 5 8 inch ribbon, you're going to be looking at a bow around this size, okay, or this size. So you can kind of see the difference. I also have this one, but we're going to be making this bow as well today using our 5 8 inch ribbon. So with these, with this size, you can cut it to six inches and it'll still be smaller because it's not as thick. Let me do another comparison. So here's my 7 8 inch right here, uh, and here's my 5 8 yep, no hand-eye coordination, sorry guys. So you can see the difference between the two, okay? So that's what we're going to be working on here today. All right, welcome back. I have our station all set up, and I've got the ribbon here. Uh, I have the two sizes next to each other, so you can see the difference between video 4 and what we're going to make today, and our 5 8 ribbon so i have my tape measure out ready to go please don't mind my sleeves they'll probably fall down my shirt's too big which is why it's all wrinkly and bunched up so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna start with the 7 8 inch ribbon i had this on the spool with a needle to keep it in place and it's got a needle mark in it i can see it you probably can't see it but my ocd doesn't like it so i need to start with a fresh edge so first and foremost, I can go ahead and just protect that in because I'm going to use it. So instead of measuring out six inches, we're going to measure out five inches. Okay. Then I'm just going to take it, measure it up together. Fray check time. And when I do that with my fingers, I'm just making sure that I feel like this singed edge. So it's not burnt, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know the best way to describe it. It's just like thicker. It feels like there's like glue on it, but it's not glue. <clears throat> I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to cut my 5 8 inch ribbon. So we're going to make these bows exactly the same way. It's just we're using different ribbon sizes. So let me clean my area up a little so you can see. And again, you can choose to line your alligator clips now or you can line them at the end. It doesn't matter. I'll just get it done and out of the way. All right, so again, this, these bows are made exactly the same and we learned how to do this in video four, video four. All right, so first I'm gonna start with my seven eighths. Thank you. 
Okay, now that both your bows have been made, the bitty mini bows, let's go ahead and finish them up at the center. All right, check it out. You just made your two mini bows. How cute. All right, welcome back makers and congratulations on making your mini bows. Check them out. How cute are these little guys? They're just little baby bows, but they're perfect. So just to give you a comparison, so here's the bow we made in video four, and here's our new mini bow. You can see the size difference. And then here is our mini bow using that 5 8 ribbon out. So cute. So now that you've made these, these will also help build for other mini bows that you may be. Don't forget, if you like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Definitely leave a comment below. Let me know how your mini bows turned out and what your plans are to use your mini bows. And then also make sure you're following Wonderland Boutique on Instagram and Facebook. Links are here and links are below. So look forward to having you join the community and getting to know each other along the way. I appreciate your time and congratulations on your mini bow success today. And it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye-bye.